what's up you guys welcome back to momini's channel all right guys so today i actually wasn't really planning on making a video for you guys but i was thinking i haven't made this recipe on my channel before so i said okay everything's content so let's get to it so for today's recipe i will be making tacos dorados de pollo in consomme Today I will be making fried chicken tacos in, I'm not sure how you say it in English. It's basically, I'm going to make like a chicken broth that goes with the, basically the hard shell taco and it's going to be super good. Don't mind my dog, he's trying, he's barking at a freaking bird trying to eat his food. He gets so mad, I don't know what's wrong with him, but. All right, so let me show you guys what we're going to make and what we're going to need. Okay, guys, so since these are chicken tacos, you are going to need chicken breasts. You can get the chicken breasts with the bone in, which is what I recommend. Um, I ordered Instacart, so the bone in wasn't on it, so I had to get the one um, that's just with no bone. I do recommend with the bone in, though, because basically the broth is going to taste... <laughs> Benji! It's going to taste way better. So here we have the chicken boiled. So you guys, if you guys are going to boil your chicken, you throw in a piece of onion. And I threw in, I love garlic, and garlic gives the food lots of flavor. I threw in about three to four garlic cloves. And I threw in two bay leaves and some salt. So that's all I, that's all I boiled it with. Um, so I boiled it for about an hour, uh, hour, hour and a half. Um, you know when your chicken's done once it spreads easily and I know my nails look horrible I'm gonna get them done this week, but anyways, all right guys So let me show you guys what we're gonna do next. Okay, so I just removed the chicken from the broth We're going to save this if you guys have kids at home helping you tell them to not throw this away Because I did it to my mom when I was younger and I got chewed out so don't throw away the chicken broth guys save it And now I'm going to shred the chicken Okay guys, so to shred the chicken, I'm using two forks. I know a lot of people use like the mixers. I personally, I don't really like doing it like that because I just feel like it shreds it too finely. Um, but that's just my personal preference. I know a lot of people do use like the blender. So if you guys don't mind it being so um, thinly shredded, then go ahead and do it that way. So I kind of just do it like, I mean, I guess it's kind of an old school way. I just do it with two forks. All right, guys, so I'm going to start chopping up an onion. I set up shop next to the fire. Um, that way my eyes don't start crying. So I'm going to set up shop right here and start cutting this up. All right, guys, so here I have my onion. And look at how beautiful it looks. No big chunks. No lazy choppers over here, bitches. Now we are going to dice up some tomatoes. All right, guys, for the tomatoes, please don't make them, don't dice them up super small. Um, just because you don't want them to mush up. So you kind of want, you want them like at a reasonable size where they're not going to mush up. So I'm going to show you guys about how. How much? All right. So you want it kind of like this. And I also want to add, like I'm not a big fan of veggies, which is really horrible. But, um, so I know a lot of people are like, oh, can I make it without the onion or the tomato? Honestly, the onion and the tomato is going to give the meat more flavor. Um, and once you cook it, it's not really going to taste like tomato. Tomato is going to taste like... It's just gonna taste better, so just trust me. All right guys, so here I have my cut up veggies and then I have my shredded chicken here. I'm going to add just a little bit of oil to saute my veggies. While that heats up, you guys are going to need el pato sauce, so I'm using about two. Before I saute my veggies, I'm gonna go ahead and add lorries. I'm just gonna add a little bit. We're gonna add just a little bit of garlic salt. And I'm going to add pepper. And then we're going to put our veggies to saute. 
Make sure you guys have this on low because you don't want them to cook super fast. Okay guys, so I recommend you only saute these for about two minutes. It has to be kind of quick. Now I'm gonna throw some of my chicken in here. I don't think I'm gonna use all the chicken because I'm not cooking for many of us today. So just kind of figure out how much chicken you're gonna need for the amount of people you're cooking for. And I'm just gonna start mixing it in with my veggies. Okay guys, now I'm gonna add a little bit of Lori's to the boiled chicken. Just a little bit. We're going to put some garlic powder. A little bit of garlic salt. And once again, I'm going to throw pepper in it. And then go ahead and mix this up. Once you guys have this mixed, you're going to throw in your pato sauce. Now I'm adding the pato sauce. All right, guys, so my chicken is now ready. So we're going to put this aside. It smells so fucking amazing. I wish you guys could smell it. All right, guys, so here I have water boiling. I My thing is, I don't like adding the tomatoes until the water actually boils, just so I know how much to leave it in for. So I'm only going to boil it for maybe about, maybe about two to three minutes. All right, guys, so my tomatoes are ready, so I'm going to go ahead and turn them off now. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start on my tortillas. So before we start frying our tacos, we do need to soften up the tortillas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use some paper towels. If you guys have a clean kitchen towel, you guys can use that instead. I don't have any right now. If not, I would use that. Um, so I'm just gonna use this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up. And you want to make sure like it's completely covered. Make sure there's like no holes. So see how it's nice and covered. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the microwave. And I'm going to do about three minutes. That should do it. Okay, guys, I just put in my two boiled tomatoes in the blender. And here I have my chicken broth. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of it in there. Basically, you guys, I'm just eyeballing how much chicken broth I'm going to put in it because I don't want it to be super, super watery, but I also don't want it to be too thick from the tomatoes. So I'm going to start out with about that much. Okay, guys, so I can just look, I can just tell that the consistency is too thick just by looking at it. So I'm going to go ahead and add more of the chicken broth. All right, guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a little taste test now. Oh my god, fucking fire, you guys. Okay, guys, I almost forgot. You're also going to add oregano, okay? We're only going to use a little bit because oregano is very strong. So I'm just using a little bunch like that, okay? Just a little bunch, and we're going to go ahead and kind of grind it with our hands. And I'm also going to add just a little bit of the chicken bouillon you don't have to add this but i'm just adding it for a little extra flavor all right guys so now that my consomme is ready i have a strainer and i'm gonna go ahead and strain this into a warm pot Alright guys, and see this is all the leftover of the tomato, so this is what we're gonna take out. We don't want this part. Alright guys, so I'm working on my taquitos. 
So I'm gonna show you guys how I make them. Okay guys, so here I have my warm tortilla that I put in the oven earlier. And then here I have a little bunch of chicken. And I'm going to put it right at the end of my tortilla. And I'm just gonna kind of even it a lot a little bit. You don't wanna put too much on the edges cause you don't really want too much oil in it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start rolling it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place it in the oil. If you guys are new to making um, tacos dorados or fried tacos, so you wanna turn them over when they're like about that color, like gold. And then you just turn it over like that. You can also use toothpicks. Um, I don't. I feel like mine don't un like don't like unroll. But you can use toothpicks if you feel like your tacos aren't staying. All right, guys. So you know it's time to take out the tacos once they're gold like this. So we're gonna put them over here. We're gonna start taking them out. And I put them in this strainer with this with these napkins um, just so it soaks up the excess oil. Alright guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and serve myself. So I'm going to put some of my consomme in here. So I only put a little bit, you guys. I didn't put too much in this bowl. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my tacos. I have some shredded lettuce here guys so I'm gonna go ahead and put some lettuce on it I'm gonna go ahead and put some smashed avocado on it I literally just smashed the avocado guys and put it on here but you guys can make guacamole if you guys want now I'm gonna go ahead and add some sour cream here I have my queso fresco And I'm gonna go ahead and top it off with queso fresco. All right, you guys, and this is my plate. Look at how fucking fire. You guys are more than welcome to put cabbage instead. Um, I usually do use cabbage, but today I wanted to use lettuce, but oh my God, you guys, I can't wait to eat this. All right, you guys, it is the moment you guys have all been waiting for. This is for all my freaks. All right, you guys, it's time for the famous, famous fetish fight. So I can't wait, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just rub all of these condiments together. It's probably going to slip off, but it's okay. My mouth is literally watering, you guys. Okay, so I have my taco. Oh my god, my toppings fell off, but it's okay. All right, you guys. Oh my god, you guys. This is so fucking bomb. Oh my god. The consomme with the tacos. I do suggest you eat them right away though. Don't let them sit in the consomme for too long, but. Mm-hmm. Damn, you guys, I have no shame in my game. This is fucking fire. Mm -hmm. And that completes today's video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys make maybe your tacos dorados with consomme a little different. Or maybe you add something different. Um, I also have these in beef. So I already have the recipe up. Um, so I'll go ahead and put the link to the beef ones in the description box. 
Don't forget to send me your guys' videos of you guys making my food. You guys know I will repost you. Thank you guys so much for watching Mo Winnie's channel.